hey everybody, welcome back to another Sup Border Review. I hope you had a good Christmas, ate far too much, and the new year has gone well so far. We thought we'd start the new year with the brand new Red Paddle Co. Compact First Look video. This board arrived two days ago, and we're going to unpack it and see what we think of it. There is a lot to talk about with this board, and we're not going to cover it all in this video for sure. Remember, a First Look video really is our first impressions. I have not seen this board in the flesh. I have looked at catalogue pictures, and I know pretty much what it's about and it's basically about trying to give you the smallest easiest transportable board on the planet from the world's best or arguably okay the world's best ISUP brand at the moment 10 years in the making this loads of different technology loads of new stuff which we haven't seen fins five piece paddles so let's unpack this board and see what we think and remember to look out for the full review on SUP border where we'll take it for a paddle down a river we'll compare it to the 10.6 we'll give you our thoughts and impressions and you'll have a really good idea if you think that board is right for you. So let's get this board unpacked. So the first thing to know actually, before I unpack it, let's get an old, here we go. That is a, well, it's still current actually. That's a current 10.6, 10, 10, 8, 9.8, sorry, box that you would get all your other red paddle kids in, and that is the size of the compact. So there you go, it gives you an idea of the size difference. It is quite a lot larger. So straight away, there's your size difference. And as I said, we're gonna be doing full size differences of like it compared to a 10.6 and its backpack later on. So, it should all be done. Explore your world, Red Paddle Co, register your board online, all nicely finished. So it comes completely ready, out the box, that one goes away. So it's nice when it all comes in the bag, ready to go on the plane, ready to go wherever you're gonna go. So let's have a look at the bag first. So it's still got its heavy duty sort of ripstop fabric. The backpack, oh, the backpack's totally different from the other red paddle coats. Very nicely padded, quite a bit narrower. Obviously been well thought, thick at the top, narrow at the bottom. Nice webbing straps, easy pull downs, pads at the back here. Oh, thick, thick pads. And I think I saw something on the catalogue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you can change the uh, lumbar. Is that called lumbar support? I can't remember. With your waist straps, you can, if you're taller or you want it higher up, you can move that further up. Nicely padded, nice clips and buckles. All seem pretty solid. The buckles are solid, the buckles are very solid. And the canvas is nice, that's good. It's funny, I don't sound that shocked because it's an amazing backpack, but this is what I'd expect from Red Paddle Co. It's what they've sort of been doing for the last, what, 10 years really. Nice, well secure handles on there. They're not gonna come off. You know what, that is light. That is a light board. Like is a light board in a bag already. It's just, yeah. Okay, I like it. So this board retails in the UK at £1,299. In the US, it's £1,899, I think. Um, and in Euros, I think it's like €1,500 Euros or €1,600. Euros. So you get... Oh, you get a brand new... Brand new leash. It's got quite a small leash. Cord leash. You get your repair kit with your valve and your glue and stuff. As I say, very, very rarely use it. I spend more of the glue on my inflatable boat. Um, whoo! This is phone case, nice. Oh, fin key, fin key on an inflatable. Fins. Oh, cool, okay, I'll have a proper look at those in a minute. Take the board out. I cannot believe that's a paddle in there. That is cool, isn't it? It doesn't weigh anything. Uh, board, paddle, board, paddle, paddle. We'll do paddle. I got a little handle. One piece. Two piece. Three piece. Nicely, four piece, nicely stored away in the bag there. Really nice, easy to get in and out. 
and you can't really go wrong as you've got all the parts I like my granddad's workshop look how you want to put all your screwdrivers and everything back in the right place nice small nice small blade yeah I like the size of that it's got a rubber coating on the outside plastic blade carbon shaft at the end of the day it's pretty much all you're traveling you haven't got to worry about it you can still bang it on rocks and do the various sort of things it's going to stand up to it let's see if i can idiot's guide to work out how to put together are these all the same okay that's neat it says compact five piece on the top section so the other two are the same and you can't get them wrong I was wondering that it was all going to be quite hard to get together if it was all different sort of bits yeah. pretty stiff lever lock system on here which is I mean the world's best lever system if you ask me doesn't let any water in very easy to adjust maintenance free put it in there lock it back yeah it's pretty stiff I mean it's got a bit of a bit of flex there but you mean it's a five piece paddle you know you're not going to be winning doing any races with this are you you're just going to be cruising exploring maybe going some city brakes lever locks you can adjust all that so good I like that very very quick to adjust so let's put that over there for now uh, the leash there's a leash repair kit in case literally let's uh, let's know let's leave this in and let's put the bag over there more storage pocket there storage pocket where's the pump haha <laughs> it's in the board so I'm just about to pull this board out of the bag and I know when I do this there's a huge amount of new things and features and technology that Red Pavco have put into this compact board and I haven't fully learnt all of them in the right order and definitely not in the right frames of words so don't quote me to the catalogue I might get stuff wrong and remember this is the first board back after having a break from Christmas so let me off so let's have a look I do know it's small I do know it goes in half and I do know it has a Titan pump with it. And that is pretty impressive. Ugh. Okay, make sure we get the whole thing in shot for you. So Titan pump, exactly the same as your standard, well it's a standard Titan pump. Great pump, fantastic. I cannot believe that fits in the bag because it almost looks higher than it, out of it, but it does. So. You're going to pump this board up nice and quick. So here we go. Straight away, I know that's a stringer and it's going to give the board extra stiffness. And so it is top and bottom, that stringer. That's a bit of cardboard. <coughs> Always nice to see the cardboard and the paper. looks pretty cool so I know that in here this is their new um, threaded matrix drop stitch stuff inside the new pack technology that this board is packed with the really exciting thing about this now even if you're not looking at buying this board the good thing about Red Paddle Co doing this type of board is I can guarantee that some of the stuff you are seeing now, whether it be the fins, maybe the paddles, the technology in the board, the materials, will filter down into all of the other boards in time and they will be cheaper. I can guarantee that you will see good developments like this filtering down into the other range of boards. Now that's a really big thing for the whole of the ice up industry because you know, it's a dog eat dog world out there. Red Paddle Co are at the top. They've patented a huge amount of this stuff and it's going to be filtering down to other boards so it's really good that R&D Red Paddle Co are putting that sort of stuff into boards like this so it's really going to benefit the whole industry and all of us so 
thanks Red Parco for that. <laughs> um, so I think what we'll do, we'll pump it up, but I like the way it folds up in half and it all seemed pretty easy to store up the fins. Yeah, let's pump it, I'll pump it up and then let's have a look at the board. I don't think there's anything else I need to look at on here. It needs to be really inflated to have a look at it. All right, so that was inflated to 10 psi. I only pumped it up to 10 psi because we, you know, we want to get it. Otherwise, I'll be a bit more out of breath than this. Very quick though with the Titan. Pretty impressive so far. Nice handle, slightly offset the handle. It's going to be great for obviously for if you've got shorter arms that way, or if you've got longer arms, you can pull it that side. Deck pads, nice, nice and grippy. It's the same style, super indented Red Paddle Co. One that you see on the other boards. I like the way it's all split in half. I don't see that as an issue at all. When you're paddling normally, you're gonna have feet either side anyway. Nice big bungee cargo straps. It's nice because they've actually set them in on the forward ones and out on the bigger ones. So obviously maybe they've thought about that when you fold it, but you can get a large area under there. So that's neat. Um, the board finishes, well, you know, it's gonna be perfect, isn't it? It is perfect looks like it's very light it's unbelievably light it's funny you feel it in a bag you feel it right but that is that is really 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 light the lightest red paddle I've ever felt there you go underneath it's got a nice rocker line flat to the tail it's gonna be nice to s this is what they worked a lot on I know they worked a lot on making it paddle as straight a line and as nice or as close to it as a 10.6. So it's, you're still gonna be able to paddle it on flat water, you're still gonna be use it. And you know, you should be able to surf it in some waves as well. So, fin boxes, proper fin boxes. So this is why you can roll it up so small because you can remove some of the fins, or one of the reasons why you can roll it up so small because you can remove the fins. Just like to say I found this, this is the compact user manual in the phone case. Really nice little book, loads of information in there. Just nicely finished. Um, obviously you should look at that before you unpack the board and use it at all, but you know, as usual, man, I didn't. Um, got to put the fin in and all that sort of stuff. Nice little compact manual. So let's have a look at these fins. So these are, now this is where it'll all happen really. If you want to paddle in a straight line, you need a couple of things. Ideally, you need a nice, nice long board. The longer the board, the easier it is to paddle a straight line. If you haven't got a long board, you need good fins and stability at the back to give you a slight amount of drag or make you go in a straight line. So this is where they would have put all of their work in to make this board paddle in a straight line as, as well as a longer board. So this is it, the new Red Paddle Co Compact Fin. Nicely finished. Bit of, still a bit of flex at the tip there, so you're not gonna break it, but really stiff at the base. Beautiful profile on it. Really nicely finished. Lovely red logos. The, uh, the system looks lovely, actually. Well finished. All right, so it says in the manual I need to slide the fins in like this and then slide them back. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? So it's got some grubs here, slides in the holes and back. And you get your Allen key and you do it up. Red paddle coat, I'm telling you now, can you do this on your surf ups? Because I love it. Look at how profile that is. That is really nice. You can see it costs a lot of money to do. <laughs> but it looks really, really good. Yeah, they're in there. There, you're not gonna lose your fins. Okay, so so going on to the fins all fixed in. They look really good. Really well finished to the fin box. 
you're not going to get hardly any drag there. That's 1.1 because they're saying it's going to be paddle as well as a 10.6. The other thing, they're nice and swept back. The fins are quite near the tail of the board, so they're going to try and make the board paddle as easy as possible in a straight line because it's trying to put the fins out the back nice and wide. I can see straight away this board will feel very, very close to a 10.6, but we will have to see when paddle it. <laughs> Get this up to the camera for you. very light I can't put to, I mean honestly eight kilos yeah eight, eight kilos is what it is but it's light so I'm um, first impressions are yeah it's a very nice board from Red Palco I really like the way everything's going the fins are fantastic the, the stringers feel incredibly stiff um, we're looking forward to getting this on the water and giving it a proper review and seeing what it compares like to a bit of a 10.6 which I know most of you are going to be looking at getting if you're not looking at getting this sort of thing this probably video is a little bit longer than normal but I know a lot of you are out there and you might be doing pre-orders you might be trying to get hold of one of these early so I want to give you a little bit more information if we could but look out for the full review on Sut Border we're going to try and get this done pretty quick within the next three weeks so because I know a lot of you want to hear our thoughts about it but first impressions are it is a very nice good-looking well-made board from a paddle coat that a lot of other brands are going to have to try and follow <laughs>